In this video, I'll go over the basics of software-defined radio and how it's used by OmniSig to collect RF and classify signals in your environment. As a quick reminder, here at DeepSig, we develop artificial intelligence techniques and apply these techniques to wireless applications. Our product, OmniSig, is a software-based signal classification application that uses deep neural networks to ingest RF data and detect and classify all the signals in the RF environment pro provided to it. This allows for a real-time AI edge awareness, spectrum comprehension, and wireless protection. A critical piece of this is acquiring the actual RF data, and typically a software-defined radio is used to do this. Here at DeepSig, we work with all sorts of different SDRs, from common commercially available SDRs like the Edis National Instruments USRP series of radios, and the Epic Solutions Sidekick series, to radios that have extreme bandwidths like the Signal Hound SM435B, and even ruggedized radios for more industrial or defense use, such as the Mastodon's Beast or Herrick HTLX radio. Each of these radios provides a unique set of features that OmniSig can leverage to get unprecedented performance. One of the radios we commonly use is the Edis USRP B210. You'll want to have OmniSig running from a laptop or host system and connect the SDR via USB 3.0 connection. The SDRs typically require some sort of driver from the SDR vendor so that the applications like OmniSig know how to talk to the radio. We build these drivers into OmniSig to allow OmniSig to natively speak to a variety of radios. Once connected, OmniSig can be started immediately but you do need to tell OmniSig which radio you've got plugged in on the web-based configuration page. To do this, find the OmniSig web-based configuration page by selecting the configuration tab. And then find the source pull-down menu here, which reflects the radio that you'd like to use. In the pull-down menu, in this case, we're using an Edis National Instruments UHD device. You'll find the UHD selection here. After that's selected, simply click the start button. You'll see the OmniSig is starting status with a yellow light, meaning the radio is booting up. Once that light turns green and it says OmniSig is running, that means OmniSig is ready to go. Click the sensor tab up top and you should see the UI indicating that OmniSig is running and classifying the signals around you. Another radio we commonly use for both signal detection, signal classification, and our direction finding applications is the Epic Sidekick X4. As mentioned before, you'll want to connect it to the host system running OmniSig, so in this case via a Thunderbolt physical connection. Similar to the previous radio, once you're plugged in and inside OmniSig, select the Epic Sidekick option and you'll be off and running. In both of these cases, the radios will stream RF samples to OmniSig, and OmniSig will classify signals as they appear on the screen. What you are viewing right now is OmniSig operating in real-time mode. However, there are many times where a user or someone a user is working with has collected RF snapshots and saved them to files. Most SDRs come with applications to simply collect RF data and save it to a file for later processing. OmniSig can also perform file-based processing. To do this, you'll select File Source in the Source pull-down menu, and then you input the file name into the text box here. It's sometimes convenient to select Repeat, this Repeat checkbox here, so that OmniSig doesn't just process it once through and then stop. From here, you'll click Start, go over to the Sensor page, and you'll see OmniSig processing the file that you've recorded previously. To recap, we use software-defined radios extensively to support the ingest of RF data into OmniSig. We've built in drivers for many different radios, making it easy for users to plug in a radio and start working quickly. OmniSig can also process files that have been recorded to disk, allowing users to go collect RF from another physical location and bring the RF samples back for later processing. Come check out our next video while we go through the basic usage of OmniSig while operating from a live SDR. Thanks for watching.